How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. The Cincinnati Bengals today have signed former Eagles second round draft pick cornerback Sidney Jones. Played a little bit of time in Seattle, played a little bit in Oakland, a little bit, we're gonna call him Oakland. Yeah, that happened. A little bit in Las Vegas, a little bit in Jacksonville. He's been around a little bit. And there's a guy, he's shown a little bit of spark every once in a while, but the main thing he's had, he started to really figure things out in Seattle. And the concussions, the groins, the injuries have mounted up for this guy. I think he's a guy the Bengals added as a depth CB, something they surely can use and cannot have too much of. They bring him as a depth CB. He's clearly not a guy that's a pass rushing CB. He ain't like a Mike Hilton. Don't expect that out of this guy. But he is a guy that can uh, be a solid or plus solid run stopper, a tackler out there in the secondary for this Cincinnati Bengals defense. I think he's going to, again, he provides a little bit of flexibility. You never know who's got up to sleep with guys. And I imagine this is a guy that, again, First of all, a depth guy. Second of all, you're gonna he's gonna have a role in his defense. Maybe a Trey Flowers role, or again, he's just the next man up role. He's waiting for somebody that's gonna go down. They feel like he's a guy that is an upgrade from what they have right now. But most importantly for this guy, again, I love what the Bengals do. It's a very Bengals move. They bring this guy in on a one year deal and they say, Hey, let's see if this guy can make it right in Cincinnati. Like they did with Eli Apple. This guy's gotta get healthy first. That's the number one priority. He gets healthy, you say, All right, now we're talking. One year, not a lot to lose. The Bengals have been nailing those one-year signings as of late. And we'll see what they can do with this one. I think it says a lot, too, now. It's like, do we talk about Eli Apple? I think this guy's still a depth guy. But do you have two guys that are depth? I mean, if you bring in Apple, you say, this guy's number four on the list. Well, four, you have Britt, Mike, Awuzie. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be five, technically. But that's, again, they're not uh, putting a timetable on Awuzie yet. We don't like to assume he's going to be back very quickly, but you never know. And that's maybe that's playing a little bit into it too. It, it's really interesting what's going on with the LA Apple situation here. Why why he doesn't have a team? I thought he had a really solid season. If he's waiting on the Bengals, the Bengals are waiting to see who's gonna come. What's happening? I don't know. No insider information there. But I do like that the Bengals are still trying to make some methodical moves in free agency. They're still alive out there. We ain't heard from them in a while. I think they're not trying to reach for players. They're trying to find guys that'll fit the system. And if there's anybody that can pluck him out there, it's Lou Anarumo, uh, Lou Anarumo in his front office when it comes to the defensive side of the football. Because of thoughts, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.